what's up, guys? Hi, this is from Lomax. So, in today's tutorial, and uh, we would like to talk about uh, the map leveling, all right? So, when it comes to leveling, auto leveling, and manual leveling, you know. So, in this part, we would like to talk about this uh, auto leveling kit, uh, which is uh, about $20, you know, from Lomax. And you can probably buy it from a uh, you know, uh, Amazon, and if you don't have it, and uh, let's take a look. So, inside this uh, box, and you will see uh, wires, right? And also this sensor, and uh, this is a 3D touch. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. And uh, usually, you also have uh, these bolts and, uh, you know, screws, uh, two screws. So, let's you know, mount them to this uh, the hot end, all right? So before we get started, I really hope that you guys can check out my YouTube channel, you know, uh, subscribe, get notified, because there will be more tutorials, you know, coming in the near future. And uh, like the manual leveling. And um, so this is uh, the wrenches that we include in the box. And so make sure you find the right size. And uh, here you have this, uh, two screws and uh, it's actually pretty simple so the wires I'm going to disconnect it give me a second so all right and uh -huh. where is the kit it's right here and uh, I will put it here as you can see two holes and uh, so let's mount these uh, screws all right and uh, here we go this one a few moments one. later. All right. So about the wires and uh, this part of the wire, I'm going to put it inside. So I have a suggestion, you know, maybe a tip that I really hope you guys uh, will install. I mean, connect this uh, to this uh, sensor before you actually you mount it to this uh, hot end because there is. You know, just a little space. A okay. few moments and later. Let me do this job. Give me a second. And uh, for the sake of safety, and uh, for the wires, you like, I put it this way, and I will use the zip ties, you know, to pull them together. And it will go this way, and so that it won't look really messy. So at this place, uh, you will see uh, this auto leveling, you know, uh, thing, and. Uh, you put it inside. So the hardware part is almost done. And uh, I need to switch on this 3D printer. Now let's take a look. All right, okay. And right now, and uh, we are here. And uh, with this, uh, you know, um, uh, BL touch, and it is, uh, you know, pink color, blue color, you know, mixed color, which is a great sign that it is actually working. So every time they do the auto leveling and this pin will pop out and hit the whole bat like a few times. And then it's going to start this uh, you know, auto leveling. So how are we going to start it? So here with me, it is touch screen. And uh, this is like the home. As you can see, print, control, and setting, right? I'm not sure you've, if you can see clearly. And uh, then I will hit control and uh, you'll see this uh, auto leveling. And uh, you know, for the latest version of firmware, and we have already, you know, by default, we set this uh, firmware, you know, auto leveling. So if you are not uh, having this auto leveling, instead you are having this leveling, please, you know, contact after serial service. And uh, we would like to send you this, uh, you know, auto leveling, you know, firmware. Anyway, so this is the auto leveling, and I'm going to hit auto leveling, and uh, you will see this part, you press it, auto leveling. And this is the offset, you know, number. Right now it is uh, all zero, and uh, this is uh, you. We want to increase number. You want, you know, uh, subscribe. I'm not sure. And uh, let's hit this auto leveling and see the result. So you will see this, uh, you know, print head, you know, homing X Y Z axis, and uh, it starts to test actually the sp space or gap between these nozzles and the hot bed. And uh, let's see how it goes, all right? So usually it will test like none, you know, points. And from this one, this one, this one, and it goes like a circle. A few moments later. Uh, the gap between this hot nozzle and uh, 
this nozzle and how bad is like the offset number that we we'll probably need to set, you know, for the uh, auto leveling. And uh, auto leveling is uh, sometimes really, really, you know, uh, useful, uh, especially for new beginners. And uh, I'm not say, saying, you know, auto leveling is perfect. You don't need, you know, manual leveling. I'm just saying that, you know, uh, if this are how bad, for example, like this build plate, this magnetic, uh, you know, build plate is not flat. And uh, no matter what you do, it's not flat and uh, auto leveling will test, will feel, will sense, and it's uh, like, a, you know, uh, offset and we will try to compensate. So this part, uh, I think it is done. And uh, let's see. Usually I will start with this A4 paper and I will try to put it inside. And uh, I will need to know uh, how is the number of nuts I need to set, you know, to compensate for this uh, gap. All right. Mm, this is uh, the thing, all right? And uh, you can see clearly, it is really, really like, a, you know, the gap is big. And uh, I need to do this, uh, haste this uh, plus. And uh, let's, let's take a look how it goes. 0.8. Oh my God, it's really, really, you know, the tension, the resistance is out there. And we're going to hit this one, and this is like, uh, you know, you want to do it uh, in big number or in small number. And we're going to choose this one. I'm going to hit one more time. Right now it is 2.75. Alright, I think it is great right now. So, so when this part is done, and uh, when I know this, uh, you know, offset number, and I set it, I'm going to do the auto level, or, you know, from the very beginning again all right and i'm going to hit this auto level and uh, let's give it one more test and when it's finished this part is finished i'm going to put the through this uh, you know a4 paper again i'm going to test uh, it is really you know the right uh, you know space or gap between this uh, nozzle and how bad okay right now it's coming back to this uh, you know center and uh, I will put through this A4 paper. Uh, let's take a look at this. And uh, I still feel the tension. So the offset number is probably 2.6 this time. So when the auto leveling part is done, and we are going to start a print, and let's see how the first layer goes. And uh, let me be honest with you. And uh, sometimes uh, you know auto leveling is not. Uh, you can do everything and sometimes you need to do a little bit of manual leveling so about the auto leveling and uh, right now i'm going to print a model i'm going to hit print i have a lucky cat with me all right i'm going to hit print hello all right it will start printing and first uh, you know the temperature you got to hit the bat and the nozzle and uh, usually for me I will set the temperature, for example, on the hot bat. Um, wait a minute, temperature, I'm gonna hit this one. Uh, right now it is the uh, hot bat. I'm gonna hit, uh, choose 10, I'm gonna hit it to 60. And for me, based on my environment and everything. So this is the nozzle, I'm gonna press it. I'm gonna hit, uh, increase 10 more, C. And you can see this is 210, C and uh, let's see the result okay uh, as i mentioned earlier that uh, you know uh, auto leveling is pretty convenient and simple and easy to use to compensate uh, you know the z-axis uh, you know offset or what and in case uh, the whole band is not uh, you know flat and uh, a lot of other occasions but uh, sometimes you know auto leveling uh, can be tricky and uh, if it is not that perfect and you still you have to use your hands you know to screw the knob as you can see the first layer which goes pretty nice right and uh, under the four corners as you can see one two three four knob of the swings and you are going to maybe left to right or right to left you know to change everything and uh, anyway so we will just uh, see the first layer and how it goes and uh, if it is uh, you know under extrusion or over extrusion you know too much too high or too low and uh, if it is perfect that would be great and if it is not 
you know, the auto leveling is not, and、uh, we'll probably use our hands to, you know, adjust the knobs of the swing. And、uh, let's give it a look. And、uh, anyway, by the way, and if you、uh, Google, you will find a lot of things about the nozzle, you know, over extrusion and、uh, you know、uh, under extrusion.、Uh, so let's take a look. So this is the you know usually how it shall be you know and the the layer height shall be the exactly same as you sense in you know, the software and、uh, so、this is、uh, like too high in air you know、uh, it goes around you know without actually you know touching the hot bed so in this case、uh, for lots of times you see the filament、uh, for example in this case it is、uh, PLA. And、uh, it will not、uh, stick to the hot bed, and the adhesion is is like、uh, you know really really bad, and、uh, sometimes you see the hot nozzles just、uh, take away like drag away this、uh, you know first layer and、uh, end up you know tangling together around the hot、uh, nozzles, and、uh, so for this part is too low, and you see something you know really、uh, not clear and.、Uh, Uh, later, I will show you a picture. Anyway, so in in these three、uh, scenario, for example, like this one, which is perfect, you know, we all love it. And、uh, in this scenario, if it is too high, and、uh, for example, the first layer, the four corners, the the left corner, like this place, it goes too high, and you probably need to, you know,、uh, adjust the knobs. And、uh, too high, you just.、Uh, You know, from left to right, you're gonna, you know, like this, spinning like this, which will level up this、uh, hot bed and to compensate this,、uh, you know, offset. And if you see on the right corner, it goes exactly the same, and it will repeat the process we mentioned earlier. On the right corner, and if you see something like this, you know, not very clear, you won't see lines and you know, patterns and everything. So, which means、uh, the nozzle and the hot bed is just too close. So, in this scenario, you probably need to, you know, and、uh, uh, goes right to left, which will, you know, make the,、uh, you know, the spring,、uh, the tension over there,、uh, so that、uh, the hot bed will, you know, just go down.、Uh, it goes down a little bit, and、uh, so you test, you print, and you see, and you watch, and.、Uh, Of course, we want to see this,、uh, you know,、uh, automatically in a perfect condition. But if it is not a little bit change, you know, not super precise, precise, and、uh, accurate, I really hope that you can, you know, count on the manual leveling at the same time. And、uh, you know, you see, and you, you know, adjust here. And、uh, later in the next episode, I would like to talk about how how we, you know, do it、uh, manually, totally. From the very beginning, instead of this、uh, auto leveling, and you you know adjust the knob, and、uh, I think the first layer shall be probably done, and I'm going to head back. Let's see. All right, I'm going to head back. I'm going to hit stop, and、uh, let's see. I'm confirm. All right, so it stops. All right, so it will just home and、uh, let's see. All right, it's there. So I'm going to take it out. Make sure you do not touch this part. We have this like clip here, and you get it up. So every time before you print, I hope you can clean this hot mat, and when you are finished, you know, clean at the same time, and、uh, do not try to you know get it off from the. How bad? Because you like wow, push is really hard, and、uh, the swings, the knobs, you know, under this how bad, and the leveling will be you know totally different. It won't be you know parallel. And、uh, next time you have to do the auto leveling, you know, manual leveling once again. So why bother? You know, just take out this how bad, this build plate, and how about we use this scraper to take it out? All right, as you can see in my case, pretty simple and easy. So how the, how about the result?、Um, I'm not sure if you, my phone can focus. Come on, come on, focus, focus. Whoa, nice! You can see the layer, right? Wow, it just perfect, right? Great condition. It's not too much or not 
you know, to last, it is not too high or too low. Amazing. So in this case, I don't have to change the knobs or the just or the just the knobs, and we will just leave it this way. This way. And、uh, so the first layer, if it goes all right, if it is at a he. Uh, you know, adhesion between the, the filaments and the whole body is great. You don't have to worry. You know, the edit,、uh, you know, goes off, and、um, and the final print shall be amazing.